So, after his knockout win over Tyrone Woodley on Saturday night, the conspiracy theorists were out in full force for Jake Paul once again, saying that the fight was rigged, saying that Tyrone Woodley obviously took a dive, you know, that there was no way that he could have knocked out Tyrone Woodley the way he did. At the end of the day, Jake Paul does come across as an idiot. He comes across as a clown. He comes across as a controversial figure. He rubs people up the wrong way. People don't like his persona, the way he acts. But, you know, the kid's, what, 190 plus pounds. He's about six foot two, six foot three. He's a big kid. So is it really that shocking that there might be power there? Like, the guy must walk around north of about 200 pounds. Obviously, if you watch boxing... Obviously, he'd be a cruiserweight. And them guys in the cruiserweight division, naturally, have power. I'm not saying that he's a great boxer or anything like that. He's not. We saw that for the first six rounds of the fight. Well, five rounds and a bit the fight went. You know what I mean? The guy's a complete novice. But when he throws one of them big winging overhand shots and he lands clean, he's going to put your lights out. Because it seems that he does have power. But a lot of people can't accept that. Because, obviously, it doesn't fit their narrative of Jake Paul. Like, they see him as an idiot and a clown. And there's no way that he has power... And there's no way he can do this and that. But, you know, obviously, you don't have to like a guy personally to, to see that the guy possibly has natural power. Like, I don't really like the guy personally outside of the ring. I think he comes across a little bit of a clown. But I'm not going to sit here and say he's got no power and that was a fake knockout and stuff like that. Because that's just, you know, you're just bullshitting yourself when you say stuff like that. And saying things like, obviously, he was signalling, you know, Tyron Woodley was signalling Jake Paul to knock him out. But, obviously, Jake Paul fainted him to the body. Tyron Woodley put his arm down to defend the body and then he just came over the top with a fantastic right hand and Tyron Woodley himself is not a boxer so he's not going to know all the tricks of thinking oh if this guy's fainting me to the body then obviously he's going to try and get me to drop my arm to um come over the top and hit me with a shot you know what I mean so yeah Tyron Woodley that's not instilled in him to know tricks like that and what a guy's going to do because he's not a boxer He's a MMA guy who was a predominantly a wrestler and he had a decent right hand. That was all Tyron Woodley was in MMA. Don't get me wrong, in MMA he was very successful. Defended the UFC Worldweight title five times. You know, had a long, you know, illustrious career in the UFC and in MMA. But the guy's, what, 39 years old now. He's coming off four losses in the UFC before these two fights with Jake Paul. Jake Paul, you know... 24 years old, a lot bigger naturally, against a faded, possibly shot Tyrone Woodley. Like, you know, it's not that deep to think that Jake Paul has it in him to knock this kind of guy out because it's not really that impressive because it's not like he was in there with a top world level boxer and he's done this. You know, he did this against a faint, a faded, washed up old fighter. So, you know, people just need... You know, to stop bullshitting themselves and saying things like, oh, it's rigged and it's obviously a conspiracy, got paid off because you're just making yourself look bad when you say things like that. Because you might not like the kid personally, but against these old, faded MMA fighters, he seems to be doing the business and he seems to have power against these guys. But let's see him against a boxer in his next fight. Let's see him against a Tommy Fury. Yeah, Tommy Fury... You know, he's only had, what, seven pro fights himself. He's a boxer slash reality TV star. But he's does come, he does come from boxing stock with the Fury family. And he's had seven pro fights, obviously against very, very limited opposition. But, you know, he's been around boxing a lot longer than Jake Paul. He's, he should be a little bit more experienced than him in terms of knowing the tricks and that inside of the ring and doing certain things. So let's see Tommy, um, Jake Paul fight somebody like a Tommy Fury or a boxer anyway. But Jake Paul, after the fight, he was calling out guys like um, Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz and Kamaru Usman. Again, guys who are not boxers. Yeah, Jorge Masvidal was a striker in MMA. Nate Diaz, a striker as well, also a jiu-jitsu guy. Kamaru Usman, a wrestler really, but over the last you know, few fights, he's hardly seems to be improved in terms of his striking but again not a boxer so let's see him fight a boxer and see how he gets on and if he goes in there and fights a boxer and he does the business like he did against Tyron Woodley then you can start saying you know the kid might not be as bad as you think but last night that fight like I said for the five and a bit rounds it went 
was very sloppy, very novice there. Both guys looked very amateurish. You know, didn't even look white collar level. But, you know, we got the job done in the end. So comment below in the comment section. What did you guys think of the fight? Did you think it was a fix or not?